Sean Dykes has given his pre-match press conference ahead of Everton's game against Newcastle United, which kicks off at 5.30 on Saturday night at Goodison Park. The manager was asked to provide an injury update ahead of the clash. This is what he had to say. Tia and Brogia, they on course. No, they're, yeah, they're a bit longer, them two. Um, Coleman's a bit longer as well. I mean, not too much longer. We'd, we'd be hopeful over this uh, international period he gets closer. And Pato is more common sense now. He's out training all the time, but he needs a game programme after being out just around that six-month mark. So, you know, a bit of a longer-term situation. But he's making good progress and he's training regularly. And so far, so good. The Toffees will be looking to win their second consecutive game at Goodison Park, having beat Crystal Palace last week. Uh, the manager was asked about the Crystal Palace one uh, win and how it differed to the other games in terms of Everton getting over the line to get those three points. This was Sean Dyche's response to that one. We're seeing the game through. Um, we didn't play as well, actually, first half particularly. I thought we were stronger in the second half and... You know, looked a threat when we needed to, and, and took our chances. And, and then seeing the game through defensively, with um, you know a better feel to the organisation going into the the end of the game. Even obviously, with the ongoing freaking group uh, talk, well, not talks. The process is underway, isn't it, for them to uh, take over from Farab Mashiri? There's lots of stories, lots of news stories around that particular. St- particular story uh, and one of them is that the possibility of funds being made available to Kevin Thelwell and Sean Dyke in January the Everton boss was asked whether he's had a conversation about said funds uh, this was his answer to that question well it's fair to say there wasn't many quotes in there so I, I try and stick to the facts and I haven't certainly haven't heard anything from the owners at all and certainly not about transfer budgets um, so uh, as there was no quote, so I would say that as a, a mythical story, like there's many out there. Um, until it becomes a fact, then I try, if I can, and concentrate on the facts. Um, and I certainly know no other at this stage. Any plans for you to speak to them in the near future? Um, not from from my point of view. Obviously, I'm always open to speak to whoever, whoever needs to speak to. But no, I haven't heard anything from their side of things. There you go. I imagine there will be some money available to Everton to strengthen in January. The manager was also asked about a story that keeps emerging, and that is, of course, from Everton centre-back Jarrod Brantwaite, consistently being linked with a move to Manchester United, and more recently, and, and maybe more bizarrely, a move to Liverpool Football Club, um, which doesn't seem like a transfer that Everton would even consider for a second. But this was what the manager said when he was asked about the possibility of Branthwaite leaving Everton in January. I think I think we said, uh, or I said, sorry, in the summer that, you know, any player at Everton Football Club, you know, it's a worldwide market now. It's not just about one play. You know, the way that the game's changed... Um, Everyone, certainly in Europe, maybe maybe the world, but certainly in Europe, you know, the, 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 the transfer sort of situation has opened up across Europe. So it's not a surprise that good players are linked with other clubs. Um, that's just the way it goes, you know, the nature of it. Um, I said in the summer he'd be staying here. He is. Um, so that's good. Everton's former kit man, Jimmy Martin, is doing a charity walk in aid of the Heartbeat, the Northwest leading cardiac prevention and rehabilitation charity. Jimmy is departing on Friday morning from Deepdale, where Heartbeat is based, and plans to walk to Goodison Park in time for Saturday's fixture for Everton versus Newcastle United. He will be staying overnight en route at the mid-walk point. Um, brilliant to see Jimmy getting out and about. Obviously, uh, the story came out the other day. He's actually suffered two heart attacks. Uh, one uh, 15 years ago and one at the beginning of last season, I think it was, before he left his role uh, at Everton Football Club. But he's back on the road, well, fully recovered now. And... Um, raising money for such an important charity. So good luck to Jimmy there. I think he, the plan is for him to uh, to be on the pitch on on Saturday night. Not playing, obviously, that would just be a bit mad. But um, the plan is for him to be presented on the pitch on completion of the walk. So good luck to Jimmy there. And finally, the road connecting into Everton's training ground, the Finch Farm, has been named after Everton great and former manager Joe Royal. Uh, Joe Royal, the last Everton manager to lift silverware in 1995, of course, when he won the FA Cup and the Charity Shield. Uh, there, there have been a poll put out about what the uh, the way should be called, and uh, Joe Royal was there to unveil it as well today. So good to see Joe back at Everton's training ground. That is it for the News Daily. Make sure you check out the match preview Everton-Newcastle game. Give the video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't.
See you later.